Well, hello folks, how are we? Hope we're well. It's evening for me right now. Doesn't look like it, does it? Glorious weather. It's coming up to 6 p.m. Take a look at that shadow. Does not look like a fully laden bike to you. You won't be wrong. So it's Tuesday, Tuesday the 13th of April. The day, uh, day after Independence Day too. The day after the pubs are reopened, the staycations are a thing again. Except of course if you've been living under a rock, campsites are still not a thing. If you can actually camp in, the caravan in it's okay. As long as you've got your own toilet. But uh, hotels and B&Bs are not a thing either. But while camping, a-okay. -okay. So I'm heading down to somewhere to sleep for the evening. Hello. Found a wood between Grinsby and Cleethorpes. Uh, camping there. I lose the word camp quite loosely because I don't have my camping pegs. I left those at the caravan back in uh, November. But what I do have is all my camping gear and a biffy bag. So I'm biffy in this evening. It's going to be nice and dry evening. So I'll be in a biffy bag tonight. So that's my winter sleeping bag. It's going to get down to about freezing point tonight, I think, or maybe just above. Originally, I was going to do it on Monday, April the 12th, but it uh, got down to about minus five. So I'm glad I didn't bother. So, the idea with food today, keeping it simple, coffee in the morning, porridge in a dangle mug, I just realised I didn't bring with me, but tonight, pizza, I'm not cooking a meal or anything like that, I'm not faffing around tonight, straight into a takeaway in Louth, get something to eat there, and then straight on to the uh, wild camping spot, still not happy with my bike fit, I think I had it back in October, but I've the only thing I think I've changed is the saddle height brought it down a little bit, but still don't feel right. My lower back, a bit painful. Seems like all the work is coming through the tops of the knees. So I think on the way back, I'm going to raise the saddle a lot. I see what it's like going back in the morning. It's definitely too little bit too low. I've got visitors. Oh, great. Oh, bloody hell, I can't believe it. Just arrived at my wild camp spot, Skidbrook Church. The idea was to go to Mailfolk, turn around, come back again. So if you're not familiar with Skidbrook Church, it's perhaps the most haunted church in the whole UK. I was going to sleep in there, do a bit of wild camp. It should be alright. <laughs> yeah. Did I ever go there? I'm not, I may be mad, but I'm not mad enough to sleep in a haunted church. No, it's a couple, of, it's about an hour and a half away uh, on the return journey. So, yeah, the plan is though to get to, to Laugh, have something to eat, and we go and get a takeaway, probably a pizza. I feel hungry now actually, I've still got some distance to go. What a wonderful evening though, beautiful night. Maybe another time. Not by myself. From the stud down on the corner block. I don't even notice all these plastic dishes. You know I'm a handle, handle my own business. I'm a boss, 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 baby. Now, as I alluded to in a previous video, I wanted to be uh, doing lots of camping throughout the winter. Obviously, uh, lockdown prevented that. So today, really, because it's midweek as well, it's only Tuesday. It's my first outing. I'm doing a short ride, about three hours in total. It's about 74k, something like that. So not, not too far. I've got to ride back home Wednesday morning. I've been me ready for work at eight o'clock, so not too far from home. We're arriving in Mablethorpe now, it's about 10 past seven. The plan is really try and get to the uh, steep spot 
just when there's a little bit of light left in the sky. I don't want it to be too dark. So uh, how has everybody's week been? Been making those plans? Been entering any sportifs or the Audaxes? If you have, let me tell me which ones you've signed up for. Got myself about four signed up so far. We got to uh, meet some of my followers on Audaxes and other events and things like that. It's been a long year of uh, pretty much solo riding all the way through. Those of you who missed my last video, this Sunday I'm going to be starting off on Burnley in Lancashire and heading up to uh, Cumbria. The uh, if it's iconic or not, but it's certainly a well-known climb up to the uh, radar station at Great Dunfell. That's going to be a long, long day. 300 kilometres that day. It's kind of annoying that it's Sunday as well because I've got work on Monday. It's across the other side of the country, so I've got to drive back again. I still haven't really worked out what I'm going to do about getting there as well because uh, normally in an ideal world, I'd be get, jumping into a B&B and that'll be it, simple as that. But of course there's no B&Bs open at the moment, so might be sleeping in my car Saturday night. How good is that? <laughs> Less than 20k to go. Coming into a little village called Withern. Stopping to put the uh, rear light on soon, I think. I don't like uh, coming, to, I don't like stopping to uh, do much to be honest but when it comes to lights you've got to do any uh, just pass through Legbourne battery's dying on the GoPro hope for bought a spear alright so takeaway up next find one get some food in me Oh my God, look at me. Good morning. It is quarter to six in the morning. That's what quarter to six morning looks like. Nice and bright. Had a really good night's sleep. A little bit nippy, but that's what how it is. This time of year, you just have to wrap up warm. Uh, I've got all my layers on. I'm gonna make some cup of coffee, have some porridge, and then uh, I'm gonna get going. Probably hard to appreciate the sunrise there, looking through the uh, screen on the phone. Such a beautiful mix of oranges and yellows. It's about 10 or 6 in the morning. Half an hour to leave, so... Yep, yeah. the stove is on. Brought this little cup with me, and I realise it. Because I forgot my dangle mug, but I've got this with me. This tiddly little thing, look. It'll do though, it'll do the job, I'm sure. Brought along some Quaker oats, have those, and I brought one of these Nescafe Original 3 in 1 uh, coffee. So it's coffee, milk, and sugar all in one. So have those. I finished packing up, I'm nearly done. Didn't take long when you Vivian out in the uh, open. All good. A bit of porridge, a bit of coffee. It's not the best cup in the world, but it, it does the job. Ah, it just means I get to fill it twice. Mm -mm -mm. Just like the bowl, actually, because I uh, put another packet with me as well. So I'm going to have those as well. So this is what I've been buying today. This is a Sonder Cleavy TI, which I bought from Outkit last March. So the only thing we see at the moment is the uh, down jacket, which I'm wearing, and that fits nicely in this trap. This uh, bag's from Sea Sense. It's not great, cheap and cheerful. The zip keeps breaking. <laughs> this is the second one I've had. 
sleeping bag in here. I'll put some details on the screen of which sleeping bag and what equipment is. So this is from uh, OEX. Really kept me warm last night. Rock Brothers Jew bag. Zephyr strap with the pump underneath. I think it's a toe peak bulb. A couple of uh, bead arms, water bottles, whatever you like to call them. Charge saddle. And on the back where's all the business is going on. Got this outkit bag. Um, we've got the exo rail which kind of sit, the bag sits on the, into, into there just holds it in place doesn't move whatsoever uh real light of course now this here normally i sit this in a dry bag because i was riding around i always thought it was like going to fall off or something but it, it stayed in place so that's the stove it's a nice small mini stove got a head torch in there uh another, another light so i can sit on the ground which do you actually use that in the end um yeah, and that's pretty much it, apart from the Sonder bag, got a drawstring bag. I have actually got a moose set as well, but I bought this drawstring bag today because uh, I've not used moose set before, so sometimes you stick to what you know. So that's got rubbish in it, it's got a packet of crisps, three cans of lager, well, two cans of lager, one cider, and that wonderful pizza from uh, Milano's in uh, Louth Marketplace, it's really, really nice. Um, I can't remember if I told you any, but I don't know if we recorded properly, but it was a, a, bol a spicy bolognese pizza, just 10 inch, didn't go for 12, just went for reasonably sensible, oh god look at my ear, reasonably sensible, uh, and a portion of chips as well, just to top it off with, so that was my <laughs> wild camp food really, and of course you just saw me having the porridge and a coffee as well, so it's very simple today, very simple stuff, um, it's, only, it's only a single night, right I'm going to finish getting set up and, and uh, get back on the bike and uh, make my way home. That's it, I'm done, ready to rock and roll. Just gotta take the crocs off. Yes, I brought those crocs. Look, left the jacket on. It's too cold. As soon as I got out of the woods, frost absolutely everywhere. I'm glad I was hidden away in the trees. <sighs> anyway, me and Coven and St. Mary. Just wanna tell you, don't forget, leave no trace. Take your rubbish home. Camden Hills, like it. What do you reckon? Should I throw the crocs away as well? I don't think so. <laughs> right, I'm going to check out here because I'm nearly home. And uh, we're not having my GoPro. I've got my hand out and my hand is freezing right now. So, for me, take care. Got any questions? Got any wild camping plans this year? Just let me know. I'll see you again soon.